Guess I can invite y'all to come along with me on my morning walk. Here comes Charlie. This is something we've gotten in the habit of doing every morning. We walk down to the lake and uh, check on the boat. Today I'm going to be bringing the gas tank back up, so I brought my little cart. By the way, I did buy that welder, and uh, I need a welding hood and some gloves and some welding rods, and I need a, a 50 amp 220 plug. Um, my that electrical service I got there is like an RV service, and it's a 100 amp. And there's a 30 amp plug for our camper. There's a 50 amp plug for one of those big Class A campers, which we don't have. So I can plug right into that 50 amp plug, adapt that down to a three prong style plug like you'd have on a stove or a dryer. And that uh, welder will fit that. And I got a long piece of cord I brought with me from Maine. So I can use that to, so I can plug that thing right in and then uh, stretch it out get some distance on it uh, I also looks like I have a another uh, storage building outbuilding coming and it's kind of a long story about that I uh where's my Charlie he's way back there you know he goes really slow down to the water and he stops and explores and sniffs everything and then on the way home he runs like a rocket it's way ahead of me and then he'll stop and wait on me so on the way down I'm often stopping to wait for him, and on the way back, he stops to wait for me. Isn't it beautiful here? I love our little path. Um, but anyway, uh, before I even moved down here, I, I bought a building from uh, Mad Dog. And then when I got down here, uh, due to a lot of things, he really wasn't ready to give it up. So I built that other building, and now he's ready to build his new building. So I'm gonna be getting the one that I bought from him and moving it over to our place. And it's just basically going to be another storage building. What I might do with it is put a washer and dryer in there so that Honey Baby, well, like today, she's she's gonna be going into town to do the laundry. So, you know, you can pick up a, an old used washer and dryer pretty cheap. It don't take much to hook one up. So I thought I'd put in something like that, maybe put in some little cabinets for her to Keep the dish, keep the detergent in and the wash stuff, you know. I might even put an old outdoor sink out there. And you can buy a little hot water heater pretty cheap and you might hook that up. So, you know, stuff like that. But uh, that's in the works. That's going to be happening sooner than I thought. I thought we wouldn't get around to that till later, but it looks like we're going to do it sooner. So, anyway, we was out with the boat yesterday and we ran the gas tank down pretty low. So I was going to pick it up this morning. We're going to go into town. I'm going to get those things I need for the welder and uh, get some gas for the boat. Bobby says he got some spare gas tanks over there, so I'll get some in from him. But uh, I always love to come down here early in the morning. It's so peaceful. It's just, it's just wonderful, really. just right for this kind of deal so I'll wheel that back up the house put it back in the car actually I'm gonna go into town with honey baby when she does the laundry I'm gonna register the boat trailer get a permit from my new building go to the bank get some gas welding rods gloves uh, welding hood and such as that Okay, Charlie, I'm going back up now. He just went off. I can just barely see a little black spot way over there where he's at. But he'll, once he figures out I'm walking, he'll, he'll run past me and just race up to the top and then wait for me. 